Today on Mirror Domains, we're going to be talking about the Aladdin sequel that just got greenlit. We're going to take a look at a couple of movie trailers, one with Arnold and Jackie Chan. The other is an art house film from Wes Anderson called The French Dispatch. Uh, also, that's going to be weird because we're going to be talking about He-Man, the Masters of the Universe, and Rick Moranis has come out of retirement for... The Honey, I Shrunk the Kids sequel. Um, that's kind of a throwback, eh? Throwback Thursday? Interesting. <laughs> McBain, what do you got in store? Well, I was just about to break out the flannel. <laughs> this is how my uh, morning usually starts out with my tea. And I saw on the headlines that uh, Disney is fast-tracking an Aladdin sequel from last year. And uh, that's, I think everybody expected that, right? I mean, the movie made like a, a billion dollars. <laughs> what was it? Uh, a billion fifty or something and some change. Um, so yeah, I think it was pretty much a given. So I had to read the headlines and I saw that the, the, that the producer is wanting to get back Guy Ritchie, which if you like the first film, then that's a good sign for you, right? Um, and they're bringing on some screenwriters that are, well, I think uh, recognized in the uh, field, but I don't think you would recognize them. Uh, one of them is from the movie Flight with Denzel Washington, and the other is uh, from Straight Out of Compton. That's an interesting choice. Now, the producer said that it's not gonna adapt the animated sequel, Return of Jafar, uh, which is good, I think, for most people. Uh, <laughs> I never saw the animated sequel. Uh, if you like the movie, then I think this is a good, uh, I think this is going to be an okay thing. i tell you this though, uh, the lead actor, um, was it Mina Masood? Uh, he's going to be happy about it because apparently ever since the movie came out, he hasn't been able to get even auditions to do more work. So he's going to be like, yeah, of course, let's do a sequel. Um, as far as it going overall, I think uh, it's expected. You know, a, a movie makes a billion dollars you think they're going to make a sequel for sure, um, unless your name is the Joker, then uh, yeah, uh, that's a pretty decent way to start off the start off the day, I think. So that's how it's going to go. You know, I do pay attention to a lot of the movie news, a lot of the headlines, and I do react to the to the news on forums and other channels. Um, comment sections and I figure well if I'm going to do that I might as well just get in front of the camera and let you guys know what my thoughts are and just go through it like that just have one video every couple days or so maybe every day I don't know we'll see how this goes it's just kind of you know I figure a lot of the trailer reactions they're not getting a whole lot of views and for the most part you know what you're doing for that you're just kind of like watching somebody go like that for most of the move most of the trailer and that's not very interesting. So I'll do the reactions. And if they're not interesting, I'll, I'll cut them down. And then I'll post the full reaction later on during the day. But that's the way that it's going to go from now on. I figure this is just going to be easier. And uh, yeah, hopefully a little bit more entertaining for you guys. Uh, as I said, I, I did like the Aladdin news. And uh, now we're going to talk about Rick Moranis <laughs> coming out of retirement. And that's fascinating to me because he had stopped to raise his family years ago. Years. Like decades ago. And people have asked for him to come out of retirement. He's a talented guy. You, you knew him from the Ghostbusters movies and such. And Honey, I Shrunk the Kids one and such. Uh, he's a Canadian guy. He's done a lot of uh, comedy with SCTV. And he, he's just a really talented dude, man. And he's also a really good actor. So I was kind of happy to hear the news the other day that uh, he's coming out of retirement for Honey, I Shrunk the Kids 2. So I had to take a look online to see what was the uh, what was the premise of this. And apparently um, Josh Gad is going to be playing like his, his son and, uh, you know, Rick Moranis is the grandfather. So, well, OK, you know, what? that's something that they can update. They can definitely do a whole lot with the visual effects now. So it'll be kind of cool to see what they can do. And I have my high hopes for that. Uh, that's what Rick Moranis sort of looks like today. And I'm just like, yeah, yeah, he's aged well. And it's going to be cool to see him back in front of the camera. <laughs> but you know who else is not looking so good in front of the camera? Arnold. Now, I want to talk about this movie trailer called The Iron Mask. 
that just came out the other day, and it has Arnold and Jackie Chan in it. So you'd figure, hey, you know what? That's a cool duo, <laughs> two legends, two icons of the action genre coming together for an action film. So I, uh, I did some research into this, and this movie actually came out last year in China, but it was called Journey to China, The Mystery of the Iron Mask. Of course, then in the poster, it says, uh, what is it? Mystery of the Dragon Seal. And then you see that the original title was Vi 2. Wait a minute. So was there a Vi 1? Apparently, the director did do a Vi 1 back in 2014. And this is a whole bunch of stuff that you guys don't really care about. You just want to see this trailer with Arnold and Jackie Chan. I mean, come on. <laughs> uh, that, that's got to be pure gold, right? Well, you know, the mask trailer... I figure we take a look at it and just kind of judge it for ourselves. Jackie Chan and Arnold Schwarzenegger. I ask. It's slated for an official release in the UK, April 10th. So let's check it out. In 500 years, no one has ever escaped. You're not going anywhere. It's the tower. <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> so it's cheesy armor. It's not serious armor. Give this to Tanan. Interesting. So if this came out last year. Tanan, I owe you my life. I'm going east. My way is filled with dangers. Hmm. Come with me. It looks my like it. Journey follows the Silk Road. Got some decent money dumped into it. The Great Wall of China. Something is very wrong. Kill Bill producers, huh? Gather the people immediately. And make everyone see that the dragon obeys. Mm. I must help save them. Some CG work there. Jackie Chan. Arnold Schwarzenegger. I've been waiting for this for a long time. <laughs> Okay, no, so we're... Don't touch this. This is the helmet of Genghis Khan. Helmet? <sighs> this is an incense pot. <sighs> so we're flirting when with the... the seal of the dragon. Fine I line of cheese away. here. It's interesting. It's interesting, but... You look better this way. Huh. The journey begins April 10th. Okay, so, uh, yeah, um, I got my reservations about that one. I figure, uh, it's riding that fine line of cheese. You know, um, it could be a, just a fun turn off your brain action film, but the dialogue is somewhat reminiscent of Batman and Robin kind of humor from Arnold, and that's not good. Uh, you know, people still like Jackie Chan, and he can still pull off the action, so I have no doubt about that. But, uh, you know, they say Jackie Chan versus the Terminator. Yeah, that's not all that. Dude. That does, that's not going to work. Arnold, uh, it does sort of feel like it's kind of got a couple of movies mashed together a little bit, I would say. But overall, the Iron Mask, I would... Uh, uh, what did you think? Let me know in the comments below. Did that work for you? <laughs> you know, Arnold, you thought of him as kind of like a big muscular dude. He can handle these action movies. But lately, he's just kind of like, kind of not doing that much. Uh, speaking about muscle, we're going to move on to He-Man and the Masters of the Universe that apparently uh, is going to be moving into the uh, its main production this summer. <laughs> now, this Masters of the Universe movie uh has been delayed sometimes, and then it got moved to Netflix, and then maybe it's not being moved to Netflix, and then who knows what's happening with this project. And apparently the other day, one of the actors, uh, the lead actor hired to play Prince Adam and He-Man, Noah Centineo, Centineo, I, uh, I looked him up. And I'm like, well, this is guy, this is the guy who's playing He-Man. He was in last year's Charlie's Angels, and he's been on a, a TV show that a lot of people watch. I can't remember the name of it right now. But uh, I'm like, yeah, this guy, this guy's got to bulk up some if he's going to be He-Man. And uh, when I was reading the article, apparently he did. He put on a lot of about 30 pounds of muscle. But then when it got delayed, 
and then you didn't know what was going on with it, he kind of lost some of his muscle. And I'm like, well, he doesn't look very big there. And I was kind of like, well, what does he look like? Uh, you know, does he have the real muscles to really pull off He-Man? And if it's going into production this summer, he's got some time to build some of that back up. I, I looked for pictures of him online and I, uh, I typed in, uh, Noah Centineo <laughs> with muscles. <laughs> and, and, and I got a, <laughs> a shirtless version of him. And there he doesn't look like he's got the muscles. But you know what? <laughs> Don't type in uh, Noah Centineo shirtless. <laughs> because uh, oh, otherwise you're going to get just flagged with ads like that. Damn it! Now I got to erase my internet browsing history. <laughs> Quiet, you. Uh, so, what do you think? Do you think this guy can pull off He Man? Do you think He Man is actually going to be any good? And would you want to see it in the theaters, or would you like to see it on Netflix? Uh, I'm going to have to keep my eye on this one. One that we're definitely going to be keeping our eye on is a Wes Anderson movie called The French Dispatch, and. If you know Wes Anderson, he's known for his flair, his style. He definitely has his own style. And he likes to work with a fairly regular group of actors. People say that it's art house. I think that uh, he rides that fine line of being original. It is art house. I'll give you that. But it's also that fine line of also we're getting very close to being pretentious. And uh, I'm always curious to see his work because it's like... It's like Tarantino, you know. Uh, he's got his own style, and you know that you're going to get at least quality out of him. So, the French Dispatch trailer. Uh, it's slated for an official release July 24th, 2020. It has Timothy Chalamet in it, who's going to be in Dune later this year. A big up-and-coming star working with Wes Anderson. Let's check it out. Searchlight Pictures. A holiday. Eager to escape a bright future on the Great Plains, Arthur Howitzer Jr. transformed the series of travelogue columns into the French Dispatch, a factual weekly report on the mm. subjects of world politics, okay. the arts, high and low, and very the stories of human interest. <laughs> very Wes almost. Anderson. Who's seedy this time? No, I don't. For decent people. It's supposed to be charming. He assembled a team of the best expatriate journalists of his time. Schwartzman? Sazerac, Kremens, yeah. Roebuck Wright. These were his people. Just try to make it sound like you wrote it that way on purpose. Which okay. Which is the subject of tonight's lecture? Mr. Moses Rosenthal. Ooh, Certainly cool. the loudest artistic voice of his rowdy generation. Simone Naked. Benicio so Del Toro. I want to buy it. It's not for sale. Yes, it Adrian is. Adrian Brody? No, it is. Yes, it is. No, it is. Yes, it is. No, it is. Yes. In short, the picture was a sensation. Hmm. It's got that quirkiness to it, and that's what people really like about it. The kids did this. Obliterated a thousand years of he, he's a party in less than a fortnight. Fantastic but writer. Freedom. Full stop. And he's got an eye. I'm naked, Mrs. Kremens. I can see that. Hmm. Lieutenant Nescafier. He is the great exemplar of the mode of cuisine known as police cooking. <laughs> police cooking. The aromas of the kitchen cast a spell, which was to be mortally broken. Yeah, okay. Now, we have kidnapped your you son. see, that's, that's borderline pretentious there. Oh, Because some of it's indulgence. That wasn't Saoirse Ronan, was it? And Bill Murray. <laughs> oh, Willem Dafoe's in it. Cool. You're fired. He's always in his movies. Don't cry in my office. Don't cry in my office. The French Dispatch. Okay, so that uh, has a longer title, and uh, that was Saoirse Ronan in it. So uh, that's interesting. She was just in Little Women last year. Um, I figure, like, yeah, that was actually pretty good. And that's one that's going to be uh, 
difficult for a lot of people out there to assimilate. It's not for a wide audience. It's being listed as a comedy, drama, and romance. Yeah, he's known for his uh, his differences, uh, different genres. Uh, it's going to be very uh, niche, I think. But it's interesting to see all of these talented people come together and work together. Oh, and Edward Edward Norton's being listed in this too. Christoph Waltz, the cast in this is going to be fantastic. I uh, see that there's a subtitle: uh, "The French Dispatch of the Liberty Kansas Evening Sun." So, uh, uh, yeah, I don't like long titles. They just had like that Harley Quinn movie that came out that got its name changed. Uh, was it Birds of Prey and the Fantabulous Emancipation? Of one Harley Quinn. That, they just renamed it Harley Quinn and the Birds of Prey. <laughs> just name it the French Dispatch. Go with that. Put Wes Anderson's name all over it, and you're going to be able to, uh, uh, you know, satisfy that audience. Uh, so, the French Dispatch, what did you think about it? Let me know in the comments below. And that's just the way that it's been today in the uh, realm of movie news. Uh, what did you guys think about some of these stories? Did any of them make you uh, say, yeah, I want to say something? Say it in the comments below and I'll interact with you guys. Okay, that's it. YouTube is recommending a video for you to watch right there. And you can see my latest one just right up here. My name is James and you're watching Mirror Domains. If you've liked what you've seen, please hit that thumbs up button and subscribe right there. Hmm. <clears throat>